I'm kind of getting a little bored in my role. The key thing to realize is that pivot points and plateaus are often a product of our success. They're not a personal shortcoming or a sign that you've even done anything wrong. It's important to get clear both on what you are enjoying about your work. It's so easy to complain with friends and family about what's not working, what you don't know, what you don't want, what you don't have. But the more that you can ask yourself, what is working? What am I enjoying most? When do I feel the most in the zone at work? And what am I most excited about? It can really be a jumping off point to have these conversations with a manager or others in the company about ways that you're most excited to grow, not just what you're trying to avoid or get away from. And remember that not all career moves have to be huge ones. You can start really small with a side project that you commit 15 minutes a day or one hour a week, even if it's something like starting an office book club. It may not be part of your full-time role, but it will help you get to know people and expand your skill set internally. It's perfectly okay if your job is not giving you 100% all-around life fulfillment. That's all right, let's take the pressure off. Instead, hobbies are a great way to blow off some steam. Take your mind off of pivot planning and asking some of life's bigger questions. And in fact, they're often one of the most effective ways to come up with those aha moments that will inform your pivot or your projects that you're working on. Hey YouTubers, are you looking to land your dream gig or start your own business? Well, you found the right place. You can learn from fellow entrepreneurs and peers that are embarking on their own journeys. Subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to join CNBC on the journey to make it. We're going to motivate and inspire you, but you'll have to bring the fire.